Okay, as you can see here, worked our way all the way around, going about four inches at a time, until eventually it basically popped and the whole, uh, the whole top piece is actually free. So we'll go ahead and pull this out. And this top piece, I gotta wiggle it a little bit, but it basically pulls straight off. You can see underneath here, these rims have actually been together. Uh, I haven't replaced the, the O-ring internally here. I don't know if you can see that in, in there or not, but it's, it's pretty flat. So they're definitely going to need to be uh, swapped out for new ones in order to reseal once we put the, the new ones back together. And generally when you're reassembling these things, another thing to note is just to kind of go through and, and clean up, especially your edges here. As you can see, you've got a fair amount of just hard rubber that's set on there over the past uh, two, two and a half years or so just from being so tight. So that's the kind of stuff you want to go through and clean up prior to reassembling these things just to make sure you get a good seal all the way around. So we'll go ahead and set this off the side here. And now we just basically flip it. And we're going to do the same, same process all the way around this side here. This is the back side. Um, Another thing to note with the tire pliers, especially if you're going to get a, a good starting point, is try to avoid any places. If you've got the, uh, the tack-on weights for the purpose of balancing, these are going to add thickness and make it a lot harder to get that, that toe of uh, the tire pliers underneath there. So for a starting point, try to pick any, any point in here that doesn't have a weight attached uh, with this clip-on style. That will make it a little easier. And if for some reason it's just giving you fits and not able to start, just use this same technique where you start out just by hammering this, this small piece in and just work it maybe an inch at a time. You know, maybe go back over it a couple times. Uh, it saves a, a heck of a lot of frustration just getting that starting point because this is something you can hammer it in versus this side. It's just a matter of you hopping and pulling and it's, it can be kind of a pain. But these things, once you get the tricks down, these tire pliers are something that are extremely handy for popping beads. It's not just for these rims specifically. It can be used for, for any rim. And it's something that's nice and compact and you can carry it in the field. And uh, I don't know if you can see from there, but it's basically good for up to a 19 inch rim. They've got adjustable settings here where you can move move your piece in and out. Um, very, very handy and very worth, worth the money if you're uh, planning on doing any type of long distance travel out in areas where you may not be able to get service readily. So, I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and pause again, and we'll get this backside bead popped, and then continue from there.